Hey! Okay, it's New Year's Eve. It's a week since I made the last video. It feels like a hell of a lot longer. This week has just been like... Um, well, we've been busy. I've been going to work with Matt because I need to do a uh, catch up on doing some bookkeeping for him. I do his books at the pottery. So we did that a couple of days. It's been really cold. We've had snow, but nothing settled this year. Um, other than that, I've just been reading. I'm reading this book called Where the Crawdads Sing. So if you've heard of that book, leave a comment in the um, comments below and let me know what you thought of it. I'm really enjoying it. It's um, strange, but I'm really, really enjoying that. So I've been reading a lot and just sort of chilling out really. But today I'm going to be making another soap from my new range I'm going to be doing for, it's going to probably be looking at the end of January now because I've been tied up with other things and not been able to get in here as much as I wanted to. Um, so today I'm going to do a carrot and, excuse me, carrot, clementine and fennel so i'm using some essential oils and some fragrance oils um, to make up a nice blend this one kind of got a bit on my hands another fresh earthy herbal blend so the fennel isn't too strong because it's a it's a very strong essential oil so i've just used a smidge of that clementine oil i adore um i use it a lot at home just little bits in the bath and um then there's like a nice sort of herbal fresh fragrance going in there as well. So it's got um, my hand. Yeah, like if you can imagine like orange, think orange juice and fennel bulbs. So a light sort of earthy fennel. It's not like this is it's an essential oil, but if you can imagine when you hold a fennel bulb before it's cooked, before you've done anything with it, it's got a nice sort of fresh watery sort of a feel. Um, scent. So that's what I'm using today. So I'm going to be using a white base as usual and I've chosen the Sopery Pistachio Green, this one. That's picking up. No, it's not. Okay. And then the Sopery Clementine Orange, which is that one. Okay, that's working now. Okie doke, so I'm going to um, just get my oils ready and I'm going to stick blend because I'm using a bucket to make two loaves. It can sometimes be a bit um, dodgy. So what I want to do is separate off some of the mixture into two separate jugs for my colours and then I will come back and we'll start there. So rather than you see me mix the soap to get like the uh, lye and the oils together, I'm going to chop that bit out because it can sometimes be a bit... You, you know, I take it right to the top so it's a bit dodgy. So I will come back in a second. Okay, so I'm just going to ladle to start with. You've seen me do this before. It's very handy to have a ladle if you're as stupid as me and fill your buckets too high. I would say that I feel a bit sad being at work on New Year's Eve, but I don't, especially this year, um, because the UK is currently in all different tiers. The tier that we are in have just been moved to tier three, which means that we cannot mix with anybody that isn't in our household. So at the moment, everybody is kind of um, just keeping themselves to themselves. The tier four people are not allowed to... Uh, do much at all. <laughs> Pretty much like the first lockdown because, yeah, you've probably heard in the news our country is in a real mess with Covid. So it is what it is and you just have to do what you got to do. But again, I'm not really, you know, I'm not letting it get to me. I'm just carrying on. Just going to put some white in there. Carrying on as usual and uh, not getting too caught up in the news as I never do. It took for um, something to come up on Facebook that Matt read yesterday for us to even know what tier we were going into because we hadn't paid any attention to the news because, well, we all know why. We just don't watch it and I've been watching films and enjoying my time off, you know, so I haven't really wanted to watch any of that rubbish, even though I, I like to stay informed, but, you know, somehow somebody always tells you. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Okay, I think what I'd better do, put that to the side. And 
you just mix these colours in. Actually, I don't want to mess that up. Just mix them in with a spoon slightly. And if I need to clear any lumps, I will. So hopefully everything will work out by the springtime. And this dreaded thing will be done and dusted, you know, with all the vaccines flying around now, let's hope that it works and we don't have to live our lives through 2021 in such a state. I think we should all give ourselves a pat on the back for it actually being alive and having to deal with this in our lifetime. Awful. I mean, obviously, generations have dealt with a lot worse. A lot worse. But even so, you know, this is our generation and it's, uh, it's still very uh, frightening. So yeah, to come through it and uh, be okay and have dealt with it, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, just gonna stick blend the white. Okay, I'm just going to put my fragrance in, so majority into this and a bit more into this. And it's very nice, fresh and clean, fresh and clean. Oh my lord, I watched Bad Santa yesterday. I'd never seen it before with Billy Bob. I downloaded it on Prime. I thought I need to watch this. Billy Bob Thornton is one of my favourite actors. After um, Goliath, if you've been sticking around a while, you know Goliath was just the best thing to me. <laughs> I loved that. Um, and Billy Bob, especially also in Fargo. I love, love, love watching him. I think he's really, I just love him. There's just something about him I really like. So I thought, let's give Bad Santa a go. <laughs> God, he was horrible. <laughs> he was so horrible. I've got number two to watch as well, but I've got to pay for it because my prime... It was for free. It was free on there not long ago. And then they, they do this, don't they? They sort of put it up where you can watch it for a while for free. And then all of a sudden you've got to pay for it. It's cheap, but now I've watched one, I need to watch two. So that's a bit annoying. So I've got to pay for it now. But, you know, I probably will. It's like three ninety nine or something like that. And I think, well, or I can rent it for like one ninety nine. <laughs> so I need to watch number two now. Bad Santa. Thurman Merman it just had me in stitches. Well, bits of it. It was really sad because he's so horrible to that little boy. He redeemed himself at the end. <laughs> so that's what I've been watching the last couple of days. I watch a lot of um, programmes that I watch when I'm in the bath and I take my tablet in there with me and prop it up. Oh. So yeah, I watch a lot of stuff in the bath and then I got Matt doing that as well. So he was like, what are you doing in there? I was like, I spend a good hour in the bathroom at night, either watching YouTube videos or yeah, my films or my documentaries. <laughs> and then he started doing it. So he watches all his Joe Rogans while he's having his bath or uh, some skateboard things that he likes to do. Okay. Right. Now I need to pour, don't I? I need to start to pour. Keeping it quite fluid, just so I don't have any nightmarish things happen, you know, how we've had that in the past. I'm soaping a bit warmer than normal, so just probably at room temperature or just a little bit above. Now there's normally, I'm quite a bit cooler than that. This time, I've heated all my oils on my stove in a big pan, so it's a bit different. I'm going to just decant them into the buckets. I need to get some more buckets, actually. I want some slightly big ones. These are five litre, and I could really do with a six or a seven. 
ideally. Okay, I'm going to use the orange. So this is clementine orange from the soapery. A few more of you have been buying the recipe over the last week or so, I think after my last video. Normally that's what happens because I've got new subscribers all the time and then you realise that I've got recipe for sale so you can have this recipe is the one that I've got on my Etsy as well as a palm oil free one. So thank you for all of you who've placed orders on my Etsy for those recipes. It's really, really helped me to... Um, make some extra cash through lockdown and things like that. So I'm really glad I did it. And um, yeah, it's really nice to see that people have had success with it as well, you know? Okay. Stick, chopstick. Oh God, that's a nice green. That is super fresh. I don't know how that's picking up on camera, but it's really, really pretty green. It's a bit more of a vibrant green than I would normally use. I'd normally go for like a hunter green or something like that. But I thought with the fennel, it's such a nice fresh green colour. that I wanted to uh, have it a bit more bright. And also, because we're coming into a new year. Tomorrow, tomorrow is a new year. Of course, I'm like Annie. too much white at the end. Okay, so, usual tops. I haven't been doing many peaked tops, so I might move back to that soon. After I've done this little run of the soaps, I might move back to doing some more peaked tops, because I do like them. Oh Lord, all your um, comments on the last video, thank you. They're all um, giving me your dogs' names and the breeds. It's been so, the best thing. There's so many comments, it was really, really nice. Thank you for leaving all the comments because it really, actually really helps the channel as well to get a decent amount of comments on a video. So um, <laughs> it was really, really nice. What I was most surprised at the amount of you, we've got corgis. It's like, really? There seem to be a lot of you got corgis. And I think there was only one who mentioned a whippet. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you should all have a whippet. <laughs> but no, I love all breeds of dog. All of them. And uh, yeah, it was really, really funny. It really made me laugh, like everybody saying their dog's names and what they were and... Oh, God. So nice. So nice, and surprisingly, how many of you have got a lot of dogs? Like, not just the one, you know? Some of you are kind of a uh, dog mad. I think one lady had got seven, including, was it a Mastiff and a Shepherd? Oh, I can't remember. Dobermans. My sister, Natalie, who you've probably seen on video before, Actually, it's one of the first videos on this channel. She's on there. She's just got herself a Doberman. <laughs> and he is insane. I am in hysterics with him. He's just, he's so, so beautiful. He's called Riker from uh, Star Trek. <laughs> and he is one of the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dogs I have ever seen in my life. But he is absolutely Fruit Loop at the moment. So it was snowing the other day and I said, what's he doing? And she said, barking at the snow. <laughs> In the back, I could just hear him like yappering on. I was like, what is he, like, what's he doing? He's just standing at the back doors, barking at the snow. He is, he is just hysterical. And I, I just, in the beginning, I was a bit like, oh God, why did you want to get one of those? You know, cause they were a bit scary. Well, the ones that you see in movies are obviously scary looking, but that's when they have their ears cut and pricked up and the tails docked and they just look like the most ferocious beasts in the universe, don't they? 
and I was like, Bridie's going to hate him. She ain't keen. <laughs> she was coming around to him. I think she just thinks he's an idiot, which he is. <laughs> he is. He's so funny. He's so, so funny, which I just think is hysterical, but he is going to be a big dog. She's having a job to hold him now he's he's so strong and you know he's puppy he's still um he's not very old he's only a few months old but oh lordy she's taking him to training classes thankfully and my mom went with her the one week and she just said she kept like natalie kept staring over at my mom as if to say <laughs> he's not gonna do very well oh what a joy though a puppy Doberman. <laughs> so yeah, he's a, he's just a mental case. But I think it's really really funny that she's got a dog like that. I'll just it's she's got a Labradoodle, and the other dog she's got is a Spaniel, a Cocker Spaniel, like a working Cocker, like the Welsh ones. And then she gets a Doberman. It was the lads in the family. They were all like, "Can we have a Doberman?" So her husband and my nephew Ethan, who now helps me in here, like he comes and packs orders when I've got too many to get out the door, he, he comes in. And uh, it was him and her husband that were like, yeah, we'll have a Doberman. <laughs> but Natalie is at home, so she's the one who has to deal with the blooming thing. So to say she's struggling is an understatement. Not struggling bad though, he's just nuts, you know? But very, very loving and very, very lovable. But yeah, he wouldn't be the sort of breed that I would choose because I'm a whippet girl, you know. I like whippets and I like lurchers and greyhounds and things like that. But yeah, I would not have a Doberman. But I'm really, really glad that there's one in the family because he's just beautiful. He's just stunning, he really is. So yous, yous out there who's got Dobermans, you'll know exactly what I'm saying. But this is a, I think it's a European Doberman. And he ain't quite right in the heck. Very funny dog. So yeah, he's going to give us hours of entertainment. Okay, I'm going to leave that for a second and come back and do the top. Just needs to set up a little bit more. Ready. Nice. This is my favourite bit. It really does smell good, you know. It's definitely got that seed packet vibe going on. Very, very nice. Awesome! That looks really, really yummy. And it smells really, really yummy too. Okay, let's get that in there. So, I'll be back to cut that one sometime tomorrow, I guess. Got a few things to do again tomorrow at the pottery, but I'll be back at some point to come in. It'll be New Year's Day and we will have hit 2021. So, Happy New Year, everybody. I will see you shortly. Okay, ready to cut then. We're going to do... So I've got a couple of videos to do, so I have to remember where I was at. <laughs> so here it is as a loaf, ready to go. See how those essential oils have held up. I've left this a while. It's been about 24 hours by now. So I've been out this morning to the pottery to do the bookkeeping for Matt at the pottery again. 
just had to finish up some things there. Um, it was very, 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 very cold. And I got really cold feet as I was sitting down. And um, you just got like an electric heater in there, but it wasn't hitting my lower half of my body. So, oh, Lord, it was so cold. So we got home and then had a big hot chocolate. <laughs> and then I said, I've got to go and cut my soaps. So the last time I left it too long and I broke a wire on my log splitter. I was made like a big loaf of soap when I made the last batch of white, which, which I didn't film because I don't film that one very often because I'm always making it. Um, yeah, still quite hard this one. I uh, yeah, broke the wire on my log splitter. To be honest, the log splitter, it could really, really do with being replaced. So I might have to invest in another one soon. It's just got kind of old and I've had it for quite a long time. So yeah, sometimes you sort of think, oh, you've got it now, but some things still have to be replaced. Wow, this smells really nice. It's very, um, yeah, very fennel. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, I can smell it. It's really come through, even though I only used a tiny bit. It's very fresh, clean looking. So for this range, for this sort of, uh, I don't really know what I'm going to call it. It's like a garden planner range, really, because it's all going to be based around seed packets and bulbs and compost and things like that, you know? All the things that you need for your garden. And I'm also going to try and find some packets of seeds to give away in the orders when they come in when I've released this stuff. So. I thought that would be a nice little touch. So I've got to try and find a source for seed packets that I'll be able to ship easily. So yeah, that's this one. So we haven't walked with dog yet. It's a horrible, dismal, grey New Year's Day. It's New Year's Day today. Happy New Year! <laughs> but yes, it's a very horrible day out there today. It's been really dark and really cold. There's been snow on the hills again, but we haven't quite had a scattering of snow here today. We did the other day, like I said, but nothing too um, major. Which is probably a good thing, but I like if it's going to snow, then I want it to proper snow, you know? No messing. Dump it down if you're going <laughs> to. There's something special about getting snow. I do like sets. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's really pretty. And there's the other side. Wow. Yeah, this is a nice batch of soap. Please with this. You can still sort of smell that. It's almost like carrot, like a carrot root, a carrot root, like it does smell root vegetable-y then, that's what I meant to say, root vegetable-y, and yes that is a word. It is in Tiggy World. It's got like, yeah, it's very fresh and clean and like, it smells like carrot, it smells like fresh carrot. That's strange. Carrots and clementines and fennel bulbs. Really, really weird and really, really nice. I like these odd sort of scents. I think they're really good. I don't go for like the bacon, you know, when people buy the, the bacon fragrance. It's like, nobody's gonna wanna wash with that, are they? Or does it just smell like smoke? Even so, I don't want to really smell, smell like bacon when I have a shower or a bath. <laughs> I get the appeal, but uh, mm. it's another thing when you're actually going to actually use a soap and make your body smell like bacon. <laughs> it's a no from me. 
Okay, so I shall leave pick at the end for that one and I will be back very soon with the next soap. So, see you later. Ta-ta.